we met Blip because Sony just hooked us up with them to do the port of Spelunky to PS4. Or I guess at the time it was PS3 and then <laughs> PS Vita and PS4. Yeah, PS3, wow. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they, they just said, you know, I'd like to introduce you to Blipworks. They're going to be doing the port. I think at the time, we were one of the first ports that they did. So they're primarily known as a porting company. And now I think they're pretty legendary for doing ports, uh, particularly of indie games. They've done a ton. You know, I think initially they did Spelunky. I, I'm pretty sure they did Fez early on. Right. Since then, they've done all kinds of yeah ports. So this is their first game where they've like built it from scratch, from the ground up. But I I've pretty much only did art design and, and level design. And yeah, the, the, the tools that we have are, are just way better now. With, with Spelunky 1, I did actually go into the code and do some programming. I mean, not that much, but you know, I actually did like touch the code, particularly like the level generation code. I, right. I copied it over from Game Maker into C++ and actually <laughs> did some. So now I'm, I'm more removed from that. Um, and you know, them just being like a big team lets us do more for Spelunky too, like, you know, all the features and, and yeah, better tools and things like that. Uh, people are always really surprised when I tell them that with Spelunky 1, like we didn't even have source control, you know, Andy and I were just passing a zip file of the game back and <laughs> forth to each other, uh, just to, to back it up. And uh, yeah, I mean, Andy did like an amazing job as the sole programmer of Spelunky 1. It was just like an incredible Herculean task for him, especially, you know, coming coming to the development as a wooden toy designer. That was his previous right. job before working on Spelunky on Xbox. So yeah, he did great. Um, but for Spelunky 2, I, you know, having a like a full team of just super coders I mean, to be fair, you know, it's not like all of Blitworks has been working on Spelunky 2. So there's like a core group of, of people at Blitworks that have yeah, been... How, how many are we working. talking about? Like, I'm sure... Uh, it's like a of... couple, like, main programmers. And then, you know, like, s some support programmers that, that have helped at various stages. Like, uh, you know, like a, a network programmer for the online multiplayer. Right. But primarily, yeah, a couple a couple of programmers there's mickey pasquale and um javi moya are like kind of the two the two main programmers from blit that have been helping out and i think it really helped the fact that blitworks had worked on spelunky one and were pretty intimately familiar with it just having done the port and so you know i mean they knew they knew like what the engine needed to have in it and and what kind of tools would be useful and they just, you know, they understood the the original design. So, you know, a lot of the, I think that's really important um, just to, for me to be able to convey certain ideas and have them understand, you know, within the context of Spelunky 1, like, okay, this is going to be like Spelunky 1, but it's going to be a little different in this way or that. And, you know, we were used to working with each other remotely too. So it was like a pretty seamless transition. I, I've always thought that, you know, it's really important that the, I think the the team dynamics and the personality of the team also match. And you know, to do a sequel to Spelunky, I think that was I, I would not feel comfortable just working with a a team that didn't have any familiarity with Spelunky One. You know, even if they just played Spelunky One a lot, I think that's different than having actually worked on it. And so that was, you know, doing the port to PS3, I think was also just like a proof of concept of just us working well together. And they're all right. just like really chill guys who yeah i think we're i think we're cool with with working remotely